Did you take a long, do you want a carrot? <gasps> do you want a carrot? Look who's happy. Come on, let's get a carrot. All right guys, I'm gonna show you some things we found that we gotta take care of. And this always happens when you're RVing. There's always something, right Googs? All right, let's get to it. Before you watch this video, I want to put a disclaimer out there that we are not professional electricians. What we learned today, we learned online. And it worked great for us. We have a single air conditioning ducted unit with one blower. So if you have anything else in your rig different than ours, then you may need to research yourself how to switch from a duotherm analog thermostat to a Honeywell home digital thermostat. And the end of this video got a little bit blurry because something got on the back of my camera. And you can still see. It just might, it bothered me. Anyway, guys, enjoy the video. Okay, today's plan. Change out this faulty thermostat. So, this is what it looked like. So, this is what it looked like. And you had to keep it at 85 to get the air conditioning to actually turn off. So we are replacing it with a digital. So we can actually see the degree in here and we can set it. Yes, ma'am. So we're looking at all the wiring. I wait for this to focus. Come on, focus, little buddy. There you go. Okay, so since we're going from analog, hold on. Right here. Oh, there it is. Since we're going from an analog to digital. a digital thermostat, orange and blue into G, that's your high and low fans. You're gonna do your yellow and the yellow that is your air conditioning compressor. Your white is your heat into the W. You're gonna do your ground into the RC and you're gonna leave the- um, Red. Leave the house- The little silver. The little silver thing. It's right up there. Yeah, you're gonna leave that jumper in there. There it is. That's where you're gonna put your black into the RC. This is for an analog. Um, so you just leave this unplugged. The red stays unplugged. Yeah. This is how you convert in an RV only. Because <laughs> housing and RV wiring are totally different. And you're going analog to digital. So, let's give her a test. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you have turned off your, your breaker. Okay. See if it starts smoking. Yeah, we'll see if it smokes. <clears throat> and that's... Here we go. We're gonna put it on cool. I heard the compressor and everything. Now, that's, oh, and it's really cold. Yeah, it's nice and cold. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working Different. perfect. Way better. Different. That's cold. Yeah, I can feel it. So that's how you convert a Honeywell. A Honeywell home nineteen dollars to an RV. Yeah. <clears throat> that's your the wiring. Only, the only wires that stay in normal are the white and the yellow. And the yellow. Yep. White's your heat. Yellow the, the is blue your air. And the orange double up. That's your high and low fan so it can adjust itself for cooling. And then the red, or, and then the gray, the black goes into the RC. Do not follow 
this book. Do not follow this book. There is an alternate, but see, they don't give you RV. RV. Yet we learned that from the electricians. Well, you don't alternate have, wiring. You don't have to buy an RV. Forty dollar. Forty or digital. Sixty dollar digital system. You can buy a nineteen dollar Honeywell. Yeah. So if any of you have this Duo Therm, they do go bad. And we wanted a digital, so we knew what the degree was inside the RV and we could set it to whatever we wanted. So there you have it. But, just in case, you know, don't throw this out in case something goes wrong. Well, yeah, it is still, I mean, it still works. It's just, yeah, it's not accurate. It doesn't tell you what temp it is in here. And you can't set those. Like, I have mine on timers for certain times of day and night, how the temperature I want in here. The air is cold. And go to the dollar store, Dollar Tree, if you don't yeah. have these, they're a buck. You're going to need those to put the wires in. Yeah. The little eyeglass kits. All right, so that's it. Converting from analog to digital with a home Honeywell. Yep, home honey well, man. All right, guys. See you later. Helpful. <laughs> Little <laughs> hammer helps, too. With Mr. No Madness. But yeah, you got to put the anchors in the wall. <laughs>